is tea time cheers i am patricia moore and i come on here week to week to give you my testimony to share my journey as i walk with christ in hopes that my testimony inspires you to go seek out a relationship with christ for you to go to him and build your own relationship to get strong my examples are to help you find christ all right it's the holidays we made it to the holiday season and for most people they are looking forward to a much needed break from the hustle and bustle of the day-to-day. -day. Maybe you're looking for rest, downtime, everything about the holidays and a day off. Maybe you guys get a day or a week, but everything about the holiday screams, I just want to rest. I know it does for me. Some people are traveling near and far to go be with family members. I'm chilling, as you can see on my mom's couch. I ran home because I wanted to be near my family. I wanted to be around the comforts of home. However, there are some people who may spend the holidays alone. They may not have family. They may not be able to travel. And so we definitely want to lift those people up and remember those people because I want to encourage you today, whether you're with family or if you're not with family. Of course, you know, I'm always doing my reading. So I want to start off with a scripture. There is a scripture that says, surely your goodness and unfailing love will pur pur pursue me all the days of my life and i will live in the house of the lord forever that is psalms 23 6. the topic this week that i want to tell you about is called rest and what it means to actually rest as i said some people are looking for that day off so they don't have to have the task and responsibilities of work and life but what is rest truly i was reading and I want to share this with you because it's not my words. It's something that I found. As comforting as it is to surround ourselves with loved ones, the real rest and comfort is found in God's unfailing love. We can't be around those who make us feel warm and fuzzy 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's impossible to be around people all the time comforting us and making us feel good, right? So what do we do in the absence of people? You have to learn to find your own rest on your own. Independent of anybody else, you have to intentionally seek out the type of rest and comfort the word talks about so they can fill you with what you need. Unlike people, the rest God provides is not temporary and his present doesn't go away. It lasts forever. Because let's be honest, when we get around people, we're looking for something and we want to rest in their love. We want to rest in their approval. We want to rest in what they're filling us with. But people can't do that for us all the time. So we have to seek that out for ourselves. This is the time when we have to be independent. That I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Yeah, that independent is between us and God. We're independently seeking to depend on him. But how do you find it? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> First, what we seek and yearn can only be found and answered through honesty. Pretending that you don't care or playing tough, that it doesn't matter, that you need rest or that you need that type of approval or you're seeking that type of rest in people, that never works. Don't act like you have it all together and try to satisfy your own desires. Tell God the truth. Tell him you need rest or that you feel alone. Also, be prepared because when you ask for something, please know that you're going to have to go through it. And how many of us know in the mind of God, it doesn't happen the way we planned it or think it. Rest is not merely time or a vacation off for God. You know, in the mind of God, he doesn't think like us. Rest is releasing to him control of things you can't control. It is to be in God's presence where all is in order and peace. I love how this is written. It says to be in fellowship with God 
is leaving the chaos of this world behind for a time and to look forward to a time when we can once again reside in the garden, the garden of Eden, because that's where it was order. That's where it was peace originally before sin entered. Free from the labors of this world and, re and reveling in God's presence. That's the definition of rest. If you didn't catch it, let me read it again. It's to be in fellowship with God, leaving the chaos of this world behind for a time and to look forward to a time when we can once again, it's always a kingdom mindset, reside in the garden, free from the labors of this world and reveling in God's presence. If a part of God's divine rest is to maintain order and peace, God always gives us the roadmap and the roadmap sends us back to him. So you ask, how do I find rest? Well, he gives us a, word, a roadmap. He provides his instructions through his word in every, every circumstance. One scripture explains, you're blessed when you stay on course, walking steadily on the road revealed by God. You're blessed when you follow his directions, doing your best to find him. That's right. You don't go off on your own. You walk straight along the road he set because that's order. You, God, prescribe the right way to live. Now you expect us to live it. Oh, that my steps may be steady. Keep into the course that you set. That's peace. Stand on the course. You find peace away from chaos, away from distractions. You stay the course. Then I never have any regrets in comparing my life with your counsel. I thank you for speaking straight from your heart. I learned the pattern of your righteous ways. I'm going to do what you tell me to do. Don't ever walk off and leave me. That's Psalms 119, 1 through 8 in the message ver version. I want to leave you with this. God's rest, as I said, is not a time of relaxation. Even though we want to relax, that's okay. You can take that time off. But it is a state or a place where God rules and manages his creation free from the chaos and disorder brought about by sin and rebellion. It is God's kingdom. All who will rest from their own work, the work of bringing your own life and world under control can enter into God's rest. We would generally call this salvation and God's rest would equate to what? The kingdom of God. So when we think about rest, we only think about the rest we want. But when you put on a kingdom mindset, you begin to see rest the way God sees rest. So my prayer for you over this holiday season is not only that you get relaxation, you get downtime, but you also find rest, order, and peace. All right, guys. Cheers. Prayerfully, I'll see you next week.